Kevin Amansky, and we're at Lebanon Valley Dragway in Lebanon Valley, New York. And today we have the exclusive first look at Traxxas's new funny car. This funny car is the most realistic funny car I've ever seen in all my years of RC. It looks just like the cars you see on TV. The cool thing about it is that the body actually tilts up just like the full-size funny cars, so you can get to your battery, speed control, or whatever you want to do under there. And then when you have your battery plugged in, you're ready to go, you just pull the body down and it clips in place, just like the real funny cars. Another nice feature is the chassis. The chassis looks just like a tubular frame, has a roll cage and everything, along with an adjustable wheelie bar. Now on the radio, it's a 2.4 gigahertz radio, but you get three modes with the radio to choose from and there's a switch on top. One of them is for the burnout stage, which believe it or not, you do have to burn out with this thing to get the traction up. Another one is a staging mode, which creeps the car forward into the staging lights. And another one is race mode, so you have full power. Along with this car, you can also get a full light system. So you have a tree timing system that works. So you can get two cars up there at a time, make all your adjustments, tune on the thing, and then drag race your buddies. Let's get a closer look at this awesome new car. When you first take a look at this car, you're gonna be amazed at how it looks. It looks just like the cars you see on TV. And the body is molded in two separate sections. You have the main Lexan section, which is the most of the body, and then the wing is molded separately and with injection molded plastic and it bolts onto the body. For me, one of the coolest things is that there are no body clips, no body posts all the body on. It actually is mounted in the back here on a pivot, and in the front is a little bit of a clip. Pull the clip forward, and the bumper, there is a bumper on the body, and it's actually mounted to the body itself to keep the chassis more realistic. And when you get underneath here and you're looking at it, it looks like a real funny car chassis. It's molded out of plastic, but it looks like it's made of metal. Um, because this car has to take up some pretty big bumps in the world of RC, it can't be set up like a real funny car where it has no suspension at all. So it actually has a front and rear suspension. Coil over shocks, they're inboard mounted, um, just to give it a little bit of give. And in the back, it has basically like a three link setup uh, where a transmission's mounted on the, on the off the chassis on the four link suspension and the motor is all the way in the back for weight distribution. Some of you guys who saw our review of the Traxxas X01 might notice this radio and how it looks very similar. Um, this one has a couple extra features on it though for the drag car. Um, one of the interesting things to me is the switch on top here. There are three modes to choose from. You have a uh, burnout mode where you put it in that mode, you do your burnout, get the tires hot and ready to stage. Put it into the staging mode which actually lets it just creep forward uh, when you give it throttle, it'll go into the staging beams, and then when you're ready to go, you let off. And then you turn it to race mode, and you're ready for full-blown passes. Um, also, you might notice it's a 2.4 gigahertz radio, and it has no antenna, so there's nothing to break or get in the way. Once you're in the race mode and you're ready to go, there are two other functions you need to know about on this radio. And one of them is torque control. You can take this little multifunction knob here and turn the torque up on the motor or turn the torque down. So if you have a low traction surface, you'll want to turn it down to get that car scooted down the track without spinning the tires. And if you have a high traction surface, well, you can get a little risky then and turn up the torque and get as much launch as you can out of the car. Now, once you're ready to go and you're on the line and the lights are going down on the tree, you're going to want to pay attention to this switch here, which is the launch control. When it's in the launch position, which is in the on position, it holds the car in place while you hold full throttle. And as soon as those lights turn green, you flick the switch and the car takes off. 
Now a really cool option that you're going to be able to get from Traxxas for their funny cars is their DTS-1 system. And basically it's a full timing and light system like you see in the real funny car world. It'll tell you who won the race and who red lit if you happen to go a little bit early. Now one of the cool things about this system is that you can hook it up to your iPhone or iPod touch when you use the docking station that's offered by Traxxas for your radio. And it'll tell you elapsed time and other important things that you want to know about your run. The tires on the front of the car are just like what you'd see on a full-size drag car. They're very small and have a little bit of tread. You don't need to make a lot of turns with this car. You're basically just going in a straight line. So that's all you need for the front. And in the rear, to make things interesting, they wanted to make it look as realistic as possible. So these tires, believe it or not, are X01 tires, but they're glued to a rim that has a large plastic sidewall. So it looks like the full-size tires that you'd see on a funny car dragster. It even has a small diameter rim. In the back of the car, you're going to find an adjustable wheelie bar. Once again, just like the full-size cars, they wanted to make this car as realistic as possible, and I really think they pulled it off. The wheelie bar can be as low or as high as you want, depending on what you're doing, drag racing-wise, and what kind of traction you have. And you'll also get this E2400 brushless motor that Castle Creations and Traxxas work together to create. For more information on the Traxxas Funny Car, check out our exclusive article in the June issue of Radio Control Car Action Magazine. Just be like with your feet on